Titanium dioxide, also known as titanium IV oxide or titania, is the naturally occurring oxide of titanium, chemical formula titanium-4 oxide. When used as a pigment, it is called titanium white, pigment white 6 PW6, or C77891. Generally, it is sourced from ilmenite, rutile and anatase. It has a wide range of applications, including paint, sunscreen and food coloring. When used as a food coloring, it has E number E171. World production in 2014 exceeded 9 million metric tons. It has been estimated that titanium dioxide is used in two-thirds of all pigments, and the oxide has been valued at $13.2 billion. Occurrence Titanium dioxide occurs in nature as the well-known minerals rutile, anatase and brookite, and additionally as two high-pressure forms, a monoclinic batalyte-like form and an orthorhombic alpha-lead-4 oxide-like form, both found recently at the Rise Crater in Bavaria. One of these is known as a cowgeite and should be considered as an extremely rare mineral. It is mainly sourced from ilmenite ore. This is the most widespread form of titanium dioxide-bearing ore around the world. Rutile is the next most abundant and contains around 98% titanium dioxide in the ore. The metastable anatase and brookite phases convert irreversibly to the equilibrium rutile phase upon heating above temperatures in the range 600 to 800 degrees Celsius (1112 to 1472 degrees Fahrenheit). Titanium dioxide has eight modifications. In addition to rutile, anatase, and brookite, three metastable phases can be produced synthetically: monoclinic, tetragonal, and orthorhombic, and five high-pressure forms: alpha lead four oxide-like, batalyte-like. Cotonite like, orthorhombic oi, and cubic phases also exist. The cotonite type phase was claimed by L. Dubravinsky and co authors to be the hardest known oxide with the Vickers hardness of 38 GPa and the bulk modulus of 431 GPa, i.e., close to diamond's value of 446 GPa at atmospheric pressure. However, later studies came to different conclusions with much lower values for both the hardness 7 to 20 gigapascals, which makes it softer than common oxides like corundum aluminium oxide and rutile titanium 4 oxide and bulk modulus approximately 300 gigapascals. The oxides are commercially important ores of titanium. The metal can also be mined from other minerals such as ilmenite or leucoxene ores, or one of the purest forms, rutile beach sand. Star sapphires and rubies get their asterism from rutile impurities present in them. Titanium dioxide B is found as a mineral in magmatic rocks and hydrothermal veins, as well as weathering rims on perovskite. Titanium 4 oxide also forms lamellae in other minerals. Spectral lines from titanium oxide are prominent in class M stars, which are cool enough to allow molecules of this chemical to form. Production the production method depends on the feedstock. The most common mineral source is ilmenite. The abundant rutile mineral sand can also be purified with the chloride process or other processes. Ilmenite converted into pigment-grade titanium dioxide via either the sulfate process or the chloride process. Sulfate and chloride process pigment tends to be used for lower and higher quality applications respectively. Sulfate process plants must utilize low vanadium ilmenite, as vanadium is a penalty element. In the sulfate process ilmenite is treated with sulfuric acid to extract iron sulfate. The resulting synthetic rutile is further processed according to the specifications of the end user, i.e. pigment grade or otherwise. In another method for the production of synthetic rutile from ilmenite the Becker process first oxidizes the ilmenite as a means to separate the iron component. An alternative process, known as the chloride process converts ilmenite or other titanium sources to titanium tetrachloride via reaction with elemental chlorine, which is then purified by distillation, and reacted with oxygen to regenerate chlorine and produce the titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide pigment can also be produced from higher titanium content feedstocks such as upgraded slag, rutile and leucoxene via a chloride acid process. The five largest titanium-4 oxide pigment processors are DuPont, Crystal Global, Huntsman, Kronos and Tronix, DuPont having pioneered the chloride process in the 1960s and having converted to the use of the chloride process for all its applications. 
Major paint and coating company end users for pigment grade titanium dioxide include Axo Nobel, PPG Industries, Sherwin Williams, BASF, Kansai Paints, and Valspar. Global titanium 4 oxide pigment demand for 2010 was 5.3 mt, with annual growth expected to be about 3 to 4 percent. Specialized methods. For specialty applications, titanium-4 oxide films are prepared by various specialized chemistries. Sol gel routes involve the hydrolysis of titanium alkoxides, such as titanium ethoxide T -O -E -T 4 plus 2H2O titanium-4 oxide plus 4 ETO This technology is suited for the preparation of films. A related approach that also relies on molecular precursors involves chemical vapor deposition. In this application, the alkoxide is volatilized and then decomposed on contact with a hot surface. T -O -E -T 4 titanium 4 oxide plus 2 at 2 O. Applications The most important application areas are paints and varnishes as well as paper and plastics, which account for about 80% of the world's titanium dioxide consumption. Other pigment applications such as printing inks, fibers, rubber, cosmetic products and food account for another 8%. The rest is used in other applications, for instance the production of technical pure titanium, glass and glass ceramics, electrical ceramics, catalysts, electric conductors and chemical intermediates. Pigment Titanium dioxide is the most widely used white pigment because of its brightness and very high refractive index, in which it is surpassed only by a few other materials. See list of indices of refraction. Approximately 4.6 million tons of pigmentary titanium 4 oxide are used annually worldwide, and this number is expected to increase as utilization continues to rise. Titanium 4 oxide is also an effective opacifier in powder form, where it is employed as a pigment to provide whiteness and opacity to products such as paints, coatings, plastics, papers, inks, foods, medicines i.e. pills and tablets as well as most toothpastes. In paint, it is often referred to offhandedly as brilliant white, the perfect white, the whitest white, or other similar terms. Opacity is improved by optimal sizing of the titanium dioxide particles. Thin films when deposited as a thin film, its refractive index and color make it an excellent reflective optical coating for dielectric mirrors. It is also used in generating decorative thin films such as found in Mystic Fire Topaz. Some grades of modified titanium-based pigments as used in sparkly paints, plastics, finishes and cosmetics. These are man-made pigments whose particles have two or more layers of various oxides, often titanium dioxide, iron oxide or alumina, in order to have glittering, iridescent and or pearlescent effects similar to crushed mica or guanine-based products. In addition to these effects a limited color change is possible in certain formulations depending on how and at which angle the finished product is illuminated and the thickness of the oxide layer in the pigment particle, one or more colors appear by reflection while the other tones appear due to interference of the transparent titanium dioxide layers. In some products, the layer of titanium dioxide is grown in conjunction with iron oxide by calcination of titanium salts sulfates, chlorates around 800 degrees Celsius One example of a pearlescent pigment is iridin, based on mica coated with titanium dioxide or iron oxide. The iridescent effect in these titanium oxide particles is unlike the opaque effect obtained with usual ground titanium oxide pigment obtained by mining, in which case only a certain diameter of the particle is considered and the effect is due only to scattering. Sunscreen and UV blocking pigments In cosmetic and skin care products, titanium dioxide is used as a pigment, sunscreen and a thickener. As a sunscreen, it is notable in that combined with zinc oxide, it is considered to be an effective sunscreen that is less harmful to coral reefs than sunscreens that include chemicals such as oxybenzone and octinizate. Titanium dioxide is found in the majority of physical sunscreens because of its high refractive index, its strong UV light absorbing capabilities and its resistance to discoloration under ultraviolet light. This advantage enhances its stability and ability to protect the skin from ultraviolet light. 
Nanoscaled particle size of 30 to 40 nanometers titanium dioxide particles are primarily used in sunscreen lotion because they scatter visible light less than titanium dioxide pigments while still providing UV protection. Sunscreens designed for infants or people with sensitive skin are often based on titanium dioxide and or zinc oxide as these mineral UV blockers are believed to cause less skin irritation than other UV absorbing chemicals. Titanium 4 oxide is used extensively in plastics and other applications as a white pigment or an opacifier and for its UV resistant properties where the powder disperses light, unlike organic UV absorbers, and reduces UV damage, due mostly to the particle's high refractive index. Certain polymers used in the concrete or those used to impregnate concrete as a reinforcement are sometimes charged with titanium white pigment for UV shielding in the construction industry, but it only delays the oxidative photodegradation of the polymer in question, which is said to chalk, as it flakes off due to lowered impact strength and may crumble after years of exposure in direct sunlight if UV stabilizers have not been included. Other uses In ceramic glazes titanium dioxide acts as an opacifier and seeds crystal formation. It is used as a tattoo pigment and in styptic pencils. Titanium dioxide is produced in varying particle sizes, oil and water dispersible, and in certain grades for the cosmetic industry. Research Photocatalyst Titanium dioxide, particularly in the anatase form, exhibits photocatalytic activity under ultraviolet UV irradiation. This photoactivity is reportedly most pronounced at the 001 planes of anatase, although the 101 planes are thermodynamically more stable and thus more prominent in most synthesized and natural anatase, as evident by the often observed tetragonal dipyramidal growth habit. Interfaces between rutile and anatase are further considered to improve photocatalytic activity by facilitating charge carrier separation and as a result, biphasic titanium dioxide is often considered to possess enhanced functionality as a photocatalyst. It has been reported that titanium dioxide, when doped with nitrogen ions or doped with metal oxide like tungsten trioxide, exhibits excitation also under visible light. The strong oxidative potential of the positive holes oxidizes water to create hydroxyl radicals. It can also oxidize oxygen or organic materials directly. Hence, in addition to its use as a pigment, titanium dioxide can be added to paints, cements, windows, tiles, or other products for its sterilizing, deodorizing and anti-fouling properties and is used as a hydrolysis catalyst. It is also used in dye-sensitized solar cells, which are a type of chemical solar cell, also known as a Gretzel cell. The photocatalytic properties of titanium dioxide were discovered by Akira Fujishima in 1967 and published in 1972. The process on the surface of the titanium dioxide was called the Honda-Fujishima effect. Ya. Ben Duo Tang Dao Shao Titanium dioxide, in thin film and nanoparticle form, has potential for use in energy production. As a photocatalyst, it can break water into hydrogen and oxygen. With the hydrogen collected, it could be used as a fuel. The efficiency of this process can be greatly improved by doping the oxide with carbon. Further efficiency and durability has been obtained by introducing disorder to the lattice structure of the surface layer of titanium dioxide nanocrystals, permitting infrared absorption. In 1995, Fujishima and his group discovered the superhydrophilicity phenomenon for titanium dioxide coated glass exposed to sunlight. This resulted in the development of self cleaning glass and anti fogging coatings. Titanium-4 oxide incorporated into outdoor building materials, such as paving stones in noxer blocks or paints, can substantially reduce concentrations of airborne pollutants such as volatile organic compounds and nitrogen oxides. A cement that uses titanium dioxide as a photocatalytic component, produced by Italcementi Group, was included in Time magazine's Top 50 Inventions of 2008. Attempts have been made to photocatalytically mineralize pollutants to convert into CO2 and H2O in waste water. Titanium-4 oxide offers great potential as an industrial technology for detoxification or remediation of wastewater due to several factors. The process uses natural oxygen and sunlight and thus occurs under ambient conditions, it is wavelength selective and is accelerated by UV light.
The photocatalyst is inexpensive, readily available, non-toxic, chemically and mechanically stable, and has a high turnover. The formation of photocyclized intermediate products, unlike direct photolysis techniques, is avoided. Oxidation of the substrates to CO2 is complete. Titanium-4 oxide can be supported as thin films on suitable reactor substrates, which can be readily separated from treated water. The photocatalytic destruction of organic matter is also exploited in photocatalytic antimicrobial coatings, which are typically thin films applied to furniture in hospitals and other surfaces susceptible to be contaminated with bacteria, fungi and viruses. Hydroxyl radical formation Although titanium-4 oxide pigment does not absorb visible light, it does strongly absorb ultraviolet UV radiation HV, leading to the formation of hydroxyl radicals. This occurs when photo-induced valence bond holes H VB are trapped at the surface of titanium-4 oxide leading to the formation of trapped holes H TR that cannot oxidize water. Titanium-4 oxide plus HVE minus plus H plus VB H plus VB H plus TR O2 plus E minus O2 minus O2 minus plus O2 minus plus 2 H plus H2 O2 plus O2 O2 minus plus H plus VB O2 O2 minus plus H plus TR O2 O minus plus H plus VB HO E minus plus H plus TR recombination. Note, wavelength lambda equals 387 nanometers. This reaction has been found to mineralize and decompose undesirable compounds in the environment, specifically the air and in wastewater. Nanotubes. Anatase can be converted into inorganic nanotubes and nanowires. Hollow titanium-4 oxide nanofibers can be also prepared by coating carbon nanofibers by first applying titanium IV butoxide. Health and safety Titanium dioxide is incompatible with strong reducing agents and strong acids. Violent or incandescent reactions occur with molten metals that are very electropositive, e.g., aluminium, calcium, magnesium, potassium, sodium, zinc, and lithium. Many sunscreens use nanoparticle titanium dioxide, along with nanoparticle zinc oxide, which, despite reports of potential health risks, is not actually absorbed through the skin. Other effects of titanium dioxide nanoparticles on human health are not well understood. Titanium dioxide dust, when inhaled, has been classified by the International Agency for Research on Cancer (IARC) as an IARC Group 2B carcinogen, meaning it is possibly carcinogenic to humans. The findings of the IARC are based on the discovery that high concentrations of pigment grade powdered and ultrafine titanium dioxide dust caused respiratory tract cancer in rats exposed by inhalation and intratracheal installation. The series of biological events or steps that produce the rat lung cancers e.g. particle deposition, impaired lung clearance, cell injury, fibrosis, mutations and ultimately cancer have also been seen in people working in dusty environments. Therefore, the observations of cancer in animals were considered, by IARC, as relevant to people doing jobs with exposures to titanium dioxide dust. For example, titanium dioxide production workers may be exposed to high dust concentrations during packing, milling, site cleaning and maintenance, if there are insufficient dust control measures in place. However, the human studies conducted so far do not suggest an association between occupational exposure to titanium dioxide and an increased risk for cancer. The safety of the use of nanoparticle-sized titanium dioxide, which can penetrate the body and reach internal organs, has been criticized. Studies have also found that titanium dioxide nanoparticles cause inflammatory response and genetic damage in mice. The mechanism by which titanium-4 oxide may cause cancer is unclear. 
Molecular research suggests that cell cytotoxicity due to titanium-4 oxide results from the interaction between titanium-4 oxide nanoparticles and the lysosomal compartment, independently of the known apoptotic signaling pathways. The body of research regarding the carcinogenicity of different particle sizes of titanium dioxide has led the U.S. National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health to recommend two separate exposure limits. NIOSH recommends that fine titanium-4 oxide particles be set at an exposure limit of 2.4 mg per cubic meter, while ultrafine titanium-4 oxide be set at an exposure limit of 0.3 mg per cubic meter, as time-weighted average concentrations up to 10 hours a day for a 40-hour work week. These recommendations reflect the findings in the research literature that show smaller titanium dioxide particles are more likely to pose carcinogenic risk than the larger titanium dioxide particles. There is some evidence the rare disease yellow nail syndrome may be caused by titanium, either implanted for medical reasons or through eating various foods containing titanium dioxide. Dunkin' Donuts in the United States is dropping titanium dioxide from its powdered sugar donuts after public pressure. However, Andrew Maynard, director of Risk Science Center at the University of Michigan, downplayed the supposed danger from use of titanium dioxide in food. He says that the titanium dioxide used by Duncan Brands and many other food producers is not a new material, and it is not a nanomaterial either. Nanoparticles are typically smaller than 100 nanometers in diameter, yet most of the particles in food-grade titanium dioxide are much larger. Environmental waste introduction Titanium dioxide titanium oxide is mostly introduced into the environment as nanoparticles via wastewater treatment plants. Cosmetic pigments including titanium dioxide enter the wastewater when the product is washed off into sinks after cosmetic use. Once in the sewage treatment plants, pigments separate into sewage sludge which can then be released into the soil when injected into the soil or distributed on its surface. 99% of these nanoparticles wind up on land rather than in aquatic environments due to their retention in sewage sludge. In the environment, titanium dioxide nanoparticles have low to negligible solubility and have been shown to be very stable once particle aggregates are formed in soil and water surroundings. In the process of dissolution, water-soluble ions typically dissociate from the nanoparticle into solution when thermodynamically unstable. Titanium-4 oxide dissolution increases when there are higher levels of dissolved organic matter and clay in the soil. However, aggregation is promoted by pH at the isoelectric point of titanium-4 oxide pH equals 5.8 which renders it neutral and solution ion concentrations above 4.5 m. Trivia the exterior of the Saturn V rocket was painted with titanium dioxide, this later allowed astronomers to determine that J002E3 was the SIVB stage from Apollo 12 and not an asteroid. See also Titanium dioxide nanoparticle Dye-sensitized solar cell List of inorganic pigments Noxer, a building material incorporating titanium-4 oxide. Surface properties of transition metal oxides Delustrant References External links International Chemical Safety Card 0338 Nano Oxides, Ink Nano Powders, Legit Information on Titanium Dioxide Titanium 4 Oxide PDF, www.nano-oxides.com NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards The Largest Titanium 4 Oxide Distributor in China Interview with Chairman Yang Dao by ICOAT, CC Fresh Doubt Over America Map bbc.co.uk, 30 July 2002 Titanium dioxide classified as possibly carcinogenic to humans, 2007 if inhaled as a powder A description of titanium-4 oxide photocatalysis Crystal structures of the three forms of titanium-4 oxide
Architecture in Italy Goes Green. Elisabetta Povolito, International Herald Tribune, November 22, 2006. A Concrete Step Toward Cleaner Air. Bruno Ghiassani, Businessweek. Com, November 8, 2006. Titanium dioxide classified as possibly carcinogenic to humans. Canadian Centre for Occupational Health and Safety, August, 2006 Sunscreen in the sky? Reflective particles may combat warming Titanium and titanium dioxide production data US and world